This is the XRT. And I've got the nice orange knuckles to match all the orangeness on this thing. Well, now I've got the belt ring. We're going to get that put in and take this thing for a drive because it's been a while since I've driven this. Yeah, let's go. Okay, there must be an easier way to do this because I had to go through all of this just to get to this thing. If there's an easier way, you guys let me know because, uh, wow, that was a lot to dig through. I was kind of hoping I could just take the top piece right here out in the chassis, but that did not work out. But anyway, now that I've got all this out, we can check out the two bell cranks side by side. This one is adjustable, and yeah, I'm going to pull that down a little bit. It also comes with bearings at the bottom, so you gotta peel those bearings off the pedestals, and then it just simply slides right on. I've got this ready to go back on there, and as I'm looking at this, now is a great opportunity, and I'm gonna take advantage of it. I might as well put a front upper bulkhead on this thing. I mean, I'm right there. It's just a few bolts, right? Let's get it done. With that out of the way, we can inspect the gears, which gives a great opportunity to put these in. No, I'm gonna leave these at exocagerc.com. Uh, yeah, I'm just, I'll, I'll leave these alone. I'm probably gonna regret it, but you know what? I'm gonna keep the stock gears for now. And there we go. So much orange goodness. As I'm putting it all back together, I'm realizing we can actually see that. That's awesome. That's awesome you can actually see something through the chassis and all like that. That's cool. And there we go, guys. Check that out. Let's get some tires on this thing. As I was putting tires on this, look at this. Apparently, I had a heck of a hard crash somewhere. Interesting. Here we go. Let's do this. Oh, man. It's been a while since I've driven this thing. Got some pretty big plans for it. It'll happen all in due time. Now, the handling of this has always been pretty darn good. I'm kind of curious. It looks like it may actually be turning sharper. Maybe. I mean, it's really making the turns. I, mean, I don't know that it would be sharper turning but huh okay all right let's get a few mild jumps in i told you they'd be mild either it's been a long time since i've driven this thing or this thing is handled like a dream come true look at that Oh, a little too hot into that corner. Yeah, this thing is handling absolutely great. Except for when I missed a jump. Or hit the wall. <laughs> I might need to do some laps with this thing. All right, gentlemen. Let's see what we got here. Up. Apparently, a rollover is what we got here. And let's try that again. Not bad. You got to be careful not to overshoot these jumps with this thing. Because it'll just absolutely... Mess up the jumps. Oh, messed up a little bit on that one there, didn't I? Can't really lay the power down that much. 
This thing is cutting corners great. Except my driving mod is apparently inside. Yeah. <laughs> if nothing else, at least we're testing that servo saver. Because you know it's taking some abuse right now. That was nice. Apparently I'm getting dirt in my wheels. Come on, baby, get back on the track. <laughs> that was a horrible finish. Oh my goodness. Let's just see how far this thing can fly. I'm just curious. Ooh, that's how far it can go. I know when we're racing, some of the guys, they hit that stuff and just really, really move. Woo! Nice. Here we go. And just because, uh, why not? Ooh. I wonder if I can get a backflip. Yep. <laughs> With stock tires. Uh, 2046 gearing. Nice. Well guys, there you go. 
I don't know if it was just me or not, but for some reason it felt like it was turning sharper. I, I don't know, maybe it's just I haven't driven the XRT in a while, but it did feel, it, it just felt like it was crisper and sharper on the turn. Maybe it was just me. I don't know. But anyway, hopefully I was able to show you guys some parts and I do have those, have those in stock. So make sure you check that description. Use my website, xokhrc.com. Um, yeah, you can see everything I got in stock now. Guys, check that description. Use those links. Hit that subscribe. Ring that bell. You guys, huh, you're awesome. Catch you later. If you're still watching, you are top shelf. You are the cream of the crop, the pick of the litter. You are phenomenal. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. It means a lot to me. Now, down below, there are links for the products you see. Also, for channel memberships, if you guys want to be a part. Channel members get early viewing on pretty much everything that I can. So, Guys, check that description. There's a lot of info down there. Thank you all for watching.